All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about RC circuits and how capacitors are charged and discharged. This topic is really important because it's going to give you a good basis of understanding for circuits um, for Physics 106. So what is an RC circuit? I'm going to go ahead and draw one for you guys here. All right, so this is the battery. Um, and then this right here is your resistor. And this right here is your capacitor. And that's why it's called an RC circuit because it always has to have a resistor and a capacitor. So what do each of these elements do? Um, a battery is the source of energy for the whole circuit. <clears throat> and then this, um, or let me go back to the battery for a second. So it is, it's the source of energy for the circuit and it causes current to flow all around the circuit. Um, the resistor um, resists the current and dissipates energy. Um, while the capacitor stores electrical energy. Okay, <clears throat> so um, one example for you guys is RC circuits are commonly used in the music industry and there are two main types of RC circuits that are used. Um, so one that is commonly used in a guitar, and I'm just going to show you an example over here, <clears throat> is called a low pass filter. Um, so basically what it is, is a resistor, which is this right here, and it's a variable resistor. Um, which means the resistance can be changed from anywhere from zero to 500,000 ohms. Um, the resistor is wired to the capacitor here, which is then wired to ground. And that creates what's called a low pass filter, which darkens and mellows the sound of the guitar. Um, the other RC circuit that is commonly used in the music industry is a high pass filter. Um, and this is going to be on a much smaller scale, so I'm just going to zoom in here. Um, but this right here is the capacitor, which is then wired to resistor, which is then wired to ground. And this is commonly used in synthesizers and also effects pedals um, like this one. And uh, what it does is brightens the sound and um, filters out the lower end of the sound. So um, those are just some examples of RC circuits in real life. Um, and let's uh, continue to talk about these. It's important for us to learn how um, capacitors are charged and discharged within RC circuits. Um, so there are some equations that we need to know for this. Um, first one is going to be for the charging. And I'll explain what each of these variables stands for in just a minute. All right, so this is the equation for charging a capacitor. Um, this V right here stands for voltage. And then this right here is going to stand for your EMF, which is the energy provided by the battery. And then we've got 1 minus E to the negative T over RC. So this T stands for the time that it takes to charge the capacitor. And then RC is the resistance times the capacitance, which comes together to form our time constant which is also called tau and that's written like this if you guys ever come across tau that's what that means um, and so if we were to graph this equation and we we're looking at voltage over time then it's gonna look something like that <clears throat> now let's talk about discharging a capacitor Or 
originally. There are C. Okay, so this <clears throat> um, is voltage equals the initial voltage times E to the negative T over our time constant again. <clears throat> Um, and this, uh, the, these two voltages differ because this initial voltage is going to be the initial voltage that is applied to the capacitor and then this is the voltage that we want to end up at. And this is what that graph would look like. It's going to come down like that. Okay, I drew that a little off here. It shouldn't actually be hitting zero, but it should be going down and then leveling out like that. Okay, and then one important thing, guys, when you are solving these equations in um, an exam setting or homework is remember to take the natural log of both sides to get rid of this E. Um, that's kind of a common algebra pitfall. Um, so we see in both these equations that RC, our time constant, dictates the rate at which the capacitor charges or discharges. Um, so what makes a capacitor charge fast? That would be a low resistance. Um, Basically what you need to remember is um, if R or C is large, then time will also be large. And that means it will take a longer amount of time. Um, so some common uses of charging and discharging uh, capacitors, well, specifically discharging in this case. Um, you can think about a defibrillator. It discharges energy stored in the capacitor to shock the heart and to get it to begin beating again. Um, also, the flash on a camera discharges energy stored quickly uh, to take a precise photo. Um, so thanks for joining me today, guys. That is all that I have for you, and I hope that helps you understand RC circuits a little bit better.